Welcome to Tutorial 9, Sensitivity Analysis in GPSX. The sensitivity analysis is one of the first exercises that should be carried out when developing a model as it offers the user a means to validate their model and identify the best parameters to adjust when performing a calibration. Sensitivity analysis will allow you to identify the parameters that have the largest impact on the model response. The goals of this tutorial are to familiarize users with setting up and using the GPSX Analyze function. You will also learn how to interpret the results of the Analyze function's effect on your treatment plan. Note that the Analyze module is an optional feature in GPSX that requires a GPSX Pro license. Begin by opening GPSX and create a new layout. Save the layout with an appropriate name. Ensure that the comprehensive Mantis 2 library is selected from the library drop-down menu. Turn on the display grid by selecting display grid from the view drop-down menu. From the Influent process group, add an Influent object to the drawing board with the COD states model selected. From the suspended growth processes section of the process table, add a completely mixed tank object with the Mantis 2 model selected. Finally, add a rectangular secondary clarifier from the secondary clarifier section of the process table with the simple 1D model selected. Connect the objects as shown in the video and add appropriate labels. Change the Influent Object Process Label to Influent and the Influent Stream Label to WWINF. Change the Completely Mixed Tank Process Label to CSTR, the Overflow Stream Label to MLSS, the Pump Stream Label to PMP, and the Recycle Stream Label to RAS. Change the Rectangular Secondary Clarifier Process Label to Final Clarifier, the Overflow Stream Label to FE, and the Pump Label to WAS. Switch to Simulation Mode. Begin by creating a new scenario called Sinusoidal. Right click on the Influent object and select Flow, Flow Data. Change the Influent Flow Type to Sinusoidal and change the Influent Flow to 5000 meters cubed per day. Create an input controller for the Influent Flow variable. Accept these changes. Right click on the Influent object again, this time selecting Composition, Load Type. Change the load type parameter to sinusoidal. Accept the change. Right click on the CSTR and select input parameters, operational. Change the specify oxygen transfer by variable to entering airflow. Set the airflow into the aeration tank to 15,000 meters cubed per day. Create an input controller for the airflow into the aeration tank variable. Accept these changes. Select Input Controller Properties on the Inputs toolbar. Set the Influent Flow Limits to 2,000 and 10,000 meters cubed per day. Set the Airflow Limits to 10,000 and 40,000 meters cubed per day. Next, create output graphs for the variables of interest. Right click on the clarifier's effluent stream and select output variables, concentrations. Create a separate output graph for the ammonia nitrogen, the total carbonaceous BOD5, and the dissolved oxygen. Under the Nitrogen Variables heading, select the More option. From the More window, create a new output graph for the total nitrogen with soluble dinitrogen gas. 
except the forms. Open the Output Graphs Properties window from the Outputs toolbar. Set the ammonia plot limits to 0 and 30. Set the total carbonaceous BOD5 plot limits to 0 and 200. Set the dissolved oxygen plot limits to 0 and 5. Set the total nitrogen plot limits to 0 and 100. Accept the form and auto arrange the graphs. Save the layout. We will now carry out a steady state sensitivity analysis of the airflow into the aeration tank on the dependent variables that we created plots for. First, we need to set up the independent variable in the sensitivity analysis. Open the input controller setting window. Change the type of controller for the airflow into the aeration tank variable to analyze step. This will unlock the delta field. Set the delta value to 500. This indicates the increment that the analyzer will step through from the minimum to maximum values. Accept the form. Confirm that the steady state analyze mode has been selected by pressing the analyze button on the main toolbar. Turn on the analyzer by selecting Analyze Mode from the drop down menu. Notice that the status bar at the bottom of the main window indicates that we are now in Analyze Steady State mode and that the plots have been changed so that the independent variable is on the x axis rather than time. Run a zero day steady state simulation. Observe the effects that an increasing airflow has on the CSTR DO and the effluent BOD5, ammonia, and total nitrogen. Rerun the sensitivity analysis using different influent flows to see how it affects the results. We will now run a time dynamic sensitivity analysis of the airflow into the aeration tank on the dependent variables on our plots. Click on the Analyze button and select Time Dynamic from the drop down menu to change the analyze type. Notice that the status bar at the bottom of the main menu has changed to indicate that you are in Analyze Time Dynamic mode and the x axis on the plots has been changed back to time. Set the simulation stop time to one day. Ensure that the steady state option is checked and start the simulation. Multiple lines will be plotted on each plot. Each successive line on the plot corresponds to a result of the dynamic simulation using a specific airflow into the aeration tank. Notice how the variable fluctuates over time due to the sinusoidal nature of our influent flow and load patterns. If desired, the number of lines held on the plots can be changed by going to View, Preferences, Input, Output, and changing the number of runs displayed Analyze Optimize variable. Finally, we'll look at phase dynamic sensitivity analysis of the airflow into the aeration tank on the dependent variables we have plotted. From the Analyze drop down menu, select the Phase Dynamic option. Ensure that the simulation stop time is set to one day and that the Stay State option is selected. Start the simulation. This sensitivity analysis runs the same dynamic simulations as the time dynamic sensitivity analysis but the results are plotted against the analyze variable rather than time. The phase is set by the length of the simulation. You have now completed Tutorial 9 in the GPSX tutorial series. You should now be familiar with the Analyze function in GPSX and how to interpret each of the three types of sensitivity analysis that can be conducted within GPSX.